Welcome to our LCA poetry competition for 2021. It's a weird year and so we had to do it a little strange this year and we uh, videotaped all of our contestants who made it through the first round in their classrooms and we sent that out to three judges and they watched these uh, contestants uh, on video and and marked them that way so that we kept all of our social distancing happening So I'd like to send out a special shout out to our three wonderful judges Ingrid Standish Dorothy McFarlane and Jean Bird who were so kind to do this for us um, remotely and uh, I just want to focus uh, with you on our verse from this year uh, for our school um, one of the parts of our, our school verse just reminded me of our poetry choices this year. So as you are about to hear these wonderful poems, I want you to think about this. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right. Think about things that are pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Our students did that as they memorized these poems. All Things Bright and Beautiful by Cecil Francis Alexander. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, he made their glowing colors, he made their tiny wings. The purple-headed mountain, the river running by, the sunset and the morning, that brightens up the sky. He gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell how great is God Almighty who has made all things well. Baby Jesus by Pearl Leona Sturgis. Baby Jesus born today in a manger far away little star of Bethlehem, with your light guide us to him. Praise the Lord, the Son is born. He will wear a crown of thorns. He will die on Calvary in the place of you and me. Celebrate his blessed birth, for God walked with the Son, and he bore for us the blame. Let us ever praise his name. All these things by Belinda Fairman's book. Jesus cares for you and me, for all the fishes in the sea, for crawling snakes and birds that fly upon the earth and in the sky. Little bugs that buzz and talk, horses galloping, clip clop, ponies prancing, dolphins dancing, lovebirds kissing and romancing. Sharp-eyed eagles that can soar, mighty ocean waves that roar. Bleating sheep and chimps that swing, refreshing showers in the spring. All these things and so much more, Jesus Christ loves and adores. He made each thing and everyone who lives under the smiling sun. All these things by Belinda Van Ransford. Jesus cares for you and me for all the fishes in the sea. For calling snakes and birds that fly upon the earth and in the sky. Little bugs that buzz and hop. Horses galloping clip clop. Ponies prancing, dolphins dancing, lovers kissing and romancing. Sharp eyed eagles that can soar. Mighty ocean waves that roar. Bleating lambs and chimps that swing. Ooh ooh ah ah. Refreshing chairs in the spring. He made er, all these things and so much more. Je Jesus Christ loves and adores. He made each thing and everyone who lives under the smiling sun. And so for our grade one winners in, um, for grade one, we have awards of merit going out to Josiah and Allegra. In second place, 
we have Eleonora. And for our first place grade one winner is Elise. Congratulations. Is it the crowning day by Henry Ostrom? Jesus may come today, glad day, glad day, and I would see my friend. Dangers and troubles would end if Jesus should come today. Glad day, glad day, is it the crowning day? I'll live for today, nor be anxious. Jesus, my Lord, I soon shall see. Glad day, glad day, is it the crowning day? I may go home today, glad day, glad day. Seems I hear this song, hail to the radiant throng, if I should go home today. Why should I be anxious, glad day, glad day? Lights appear on the shore, storms will fright never more, for he is at hand today. Faithful I'll be today, glad day, glad day. And I will freely tell why I should love him so well, for he is my all today. I love you, my child, by P.K. Hamanan. I love you, my child, so hear what I say. Nothing can find me or drive me away. I love you, my child, and I want you to know I'll lead you and feed you wherever you go. I'll send you some friends to break in your days with riddles and giggles and games you can play. Once in a while, a problem will come. You may even fumble or stumble on some. But always be certain I'll take every wrong and use it for good to help make you strong. I love you, my child, so I'll reach out my hand and send you my blessings so you'll understand. I'll hold up the stars in the night high above to show you the brightness and might of my love. Your future is as brilliant as the sun on the sea, and I'll love you forever through all eternity. Just like me, author, anonymous. I've got eyes just like my mommy's, a nose just like my dad's. My ears are like my grandpa's, but it's really kind of sad. Everyone who sees me sees some part of me they know, like my temper from my uncle or my smile from so-and-so. I just hope when I get bigger that people stop and say, Hi there, glad to see ya. You sure look like you today. Well, I may look like my mom and do things just like my dad, but I'll always be God's creation, and that makes me very glad. Good Enough by Belinda Van Rensburg. God wants me to be myself, for he created me this way. And since God made me who I am, myself I'm quite content to stay. In his eyes I'm good enough. It matters not what others say. I need not act as if I'm tough or copy other children's ways. God doesn't care if I'm not cool, if I'm not stronger, thinner. In his hands I am a tool to reach out to another sinner. Though I am still young and small, in Jesus Christ I'm strong and tall. So when people look at me, may it be God's and some may see. So our grade two finalists and receiving the awards of merit are Maya and Xander. Congratulations. And in second place in grade two, we have Serena. And first place for grade two, Amelia. Congratulations. Beyond Me by Berlin Van Rinsberg. When I was yet a tiny fir tree, shallow rooted, supple, thin. Another young tree grew beside me, and I thought it root of him. I need space, refused to share. Why couldn't he just go away? About his needs I did not care, but always wanted my own way. Then one fateful day at dawn, those dew drops sparkled on my leaves. I saw a doe and her young fawn approaching our copse of trees. A hoof crushed me as they went by. I was broken bent. I offered up a sigh and cry. Believing that my life was spent, don't weep, for I am here. You know me, for I am strong. Tis the voice of one so near, the one I used to treat so wrong. Many years have come and gone, seasons good and ill. 
Though we both have grown tall and strong, I lean against him still. If you should have come upon some trees and notice when it is bent, look closer and you might see when it is leaning on its friend. His feet. His feet? Oh, those beautiful feet that made his little face glow when his mother tickled his tiny toes. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet, which at the age of 12 made him stand before those educated well. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that stepped into the Jordan River and carried our souls deliver. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that treaded across countless miles, bringing hope, healing, happiness, and smiles. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that traveled over sand, rocks, and dirt, carrying comfort and love to all those who hurt. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that gently bent a blade of grass were the very feet that bore the guilt of my past. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that marched up Golgotha's hill, fulfilling God's purpose and his will. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that were nailed to the cross just so I would not be lost. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that stepped into captivity and led the broken captives free. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that walked out of a burrowed tomb and through locked doors of an upper room. His feet, oh, those beautiful feet that crushed the curse of sin will one day step on earth again to judge all history and forever reign in victory. Oh, to sit at those feet, oh, those beautiful feet is where I want to be, praising God for all eternity. Stars by Gareth Lancaster. Look at the stars way up there, so very far away. High in the sky, they shine so white and never seem to stray. Like little dots or specks of paint just floating up above. I wonder what they do up there and what they are made of. Are they dust holes poked out of the sky by giants long ago? Or maybe they're electric lights strung up to make a show. So far up there, I'd like to be to take a look for ten, to just get close and have a peek that really would be grand. Friends for Life, author unknown. Um, we are friends, I've got your back and you've got mine. I'll help you out anytime. To see you hurt, to see you cry, makes me really want to cry. If you agree to never fight, it won't matter who's right or wrong. If a broken heart needs a man, I'll be right there till the end. If your cheeks are wet from drops of tears, don't worry. Let go of your fears. Hand to hand, smiles are sent. We'll be friends till the end. In grade three, we would like to acknowledge and thank Amelia and Jordan with an award of merit. Congratulations. And in second place, we have Jackson. And our first place grade three winner, Audrey. Congratulations. Five Smooth Stones by Margaret Cagle. I am David of Bethlehem, Jesse's son, that shepherd boy. Yes, I'm the one. I'm going to the Philistine camp today. My mission, I have a giant to slay. God will help me. I know he will. He will help me this giant to kill. I killed a lion and I killed a bear, but unproved armor I can't wear. With a slingshot to the brook, I'll go. I need some stones to kill this foe. I see five smooth ones over there. I will choose these stones with care. Now Goliath is cursing me with names. He must think this is fun and games. God will defeat this big evil man. Who can defeat God? No man ever can. God, I cannot kill this giant alone. Please guide my slingshot and this stone. As quick as, a, as quick as a flash and a zing zing, I shot a stone straight from my sling. I hit his forehead above his eyes. As he fell, I heard the Philistine sigh. With glass sword, I cut off his head. Yes, you can say, now he's really dead. With giants of sin you need to kill, 
Ask God to help you, and he will. Find five smooth stones, daughter or son, and God will help you use just the right one. Memorize Bible verses, and they will be used for giants of sin to kill. Hide God's word deep in your heart and defeat the devil from the start. In the beginning, written by my dad, God made Adam, God made Eve, and God made you and me. God made birds, and God made bees, and God created all. In the beginning, the Lord, he created the heavens and the earth. He saw what he'd done, and he said it was good, and that day he called the first. Water was everywhere, no end in sight was there, so God created sky. He divided the waters and said it was good, and the second day was nigh. On the third day, he gave us the plants and the trees. On the fourth, he created the light. His glory displayed and his power conveyed in these actions of his might. Well, the void in the air and the sea that was bare were the next things on his list. He created the birds, he created the whales, and he even made the fish. The Lord, he was pleased with the things he with the things he'd achieved, but our God was still alone. He breathed life on the land and created a man in the image of his own. The Lord looked back on those six days his creation was complete. The seventh day was a holy day, a day of rest to keep. A new friend, author unknown. Hey, let's put Jesus' friends in jail. They're causing too much trouble. Now come with me, said Paul one day. Arrest them on the double. A friend of Jesus? No, sorry. Paul was the enemy. So to Damascus he did march, as angry as could be. But on the way that very day, there came a blinding light. It toppled Paul right to the ground and filled his heart with fright. There came a voice that called Paul's name. Why do you hate me so? Now please get up and change your plans. I'm Jesus, don't you know? When Paul sat up, he could not see. His friends gathered all around. They took his hand and helped him up and brought him into town. Then all alone, Paul sat and prayed in darkness for three whole days. Dear Jesus, I don't hate you now. I'll be your friend always. So Jesus sent a friend, friend to Paul to place his hands on him. Paul's eyes were healed, his heart was still. Now Paul was Jesus' friend. Paul said, Jesus, you're my greatest friend. I'll know just what I'll do. I'll go tell people everywhere that you sure love them too. I challenge you to be like Paul, to listen and obey. Leave your angry heart behind and follow God each day. Just One by Rob Dilworth. I'm craving something yummy. I'm craving something sweet. I long to fill my tummy with a tantalizing treat. When feeling rather gloomy in need of having fun, that's when the cookies drew me. So might I just have one? I taste the chocolate flavor and relish as I chew. The sweetness that I savor, just maybe I'll eat two. I see my hand is reaching and I won't disagree. So with my conscience screeching, I'm taking number three. Ignoring consequences, I yearn to have one more. Rejecting common senses, I reach for number four. And still another's calling, regardless how I strive. My weakness is appalling, I yield number five. I know how I'm behaving, but would it be a sin if in my endless craving, I end up eating 10? Then comes the guilty feeling. Of course I'm asking why. This treat that's so appealing will never satisfy. So what if I eat 20? I'm sure to overstuff. Whatever, I have plenty, or could there be enough? No matter what I'm eating, just one or 24, the satisfaction's fleeting, I'm always wanting more. And so it goes with sinning, for just like my dessert, we think in the beginning, just one will never hurt. And in grade four, our awards of merit are going out today to Ryland and Liam. And in second place, we have Kaylin. And congratulations to our first place grade four winner, Blaine. Congratulations.